I have a question regarding Workspace. For many years, I had a domain name and ran through Google Mail. I never got charged for this. In the past year or so, they started charging me $6 fee per month. Could you explain why and could I contact you? Oh yeah, well, you can contact us anytime via our website. Head along to itgenius.com, drop us a chat, drop us a message, book in a consultation if you want. Free consultation available with the team. Our team would love to chat to you. Let me give you a quick history of what has gone down in the Google world when it comes to domains. Now, Google, in their wisdom, decided to get into the domain business, registering people's domain names because they knew that many brand new business owners, when they wanted to sign up for Google Workspace and set up emails for their business, they needed a domain name first. And so they had to go to GoDaddy or Crazy Domains or someone else to register a domain name, right? You can even register a domain name now with someone like Squarespace or Wix, who are the website builders, who had the same idea. Hey, everyone needs a domain name to start using our product. Why don't we sell domain names and then more people can sign up to our product. So Google Workspace launched Google Domains and they actually had an excellent domain service. They were selling them pretty much at cost price and they were also providing DNS tools for those domains as well. DNS tools mean posting the settings of your domain name. It's one of those weird things where you can register a domain name, but then you need to do something else to make it work, which is have DNS hosting, it's called. Basically means the settings for your domain name hosted somewhere. Someone's gotta be the provider for those. Google weren't all in one solution, which was really nice. They did a third thing that was really cool. And the third thing was with one button, you could click and set up a Google Workspace account attached to that domain name. Usually if you're setting up a Workspace account, and for many of you watching this channel, you would have had to do this, You've got to register the domain name. You've got to set up a DNS hosting provider. And then thirdly, you've got to register a Workspace account and configure the DNS so it talks to the Workspace account. And once you do all those steps, eventually you get email. But they're pretty technical for a novice user. And that's why one of the most popular services on our website is to help people set up their DNS or correct their DNS if they haven't set it correctly and maybe your emails are going to spam or you're not receiving all of your emails or you change web hosts and now your emails or your website is just completely down. Click on the link below if you want some help with that. But once you've got a Workspace account set up or you did have it set up through Google Domains, you just click one button and it was basically there. And then you could start adding users immediately because Google did all of the heavy lifting themselves with configuring your DNS, activating the Google Workspace account and setting it all up. Now, Google decided to get out of the game of Google domains. I don't know why, maybe it wasn't profitable for them. And so for whatever reason, they decided to sell their domains business and they sold it to Squarespace. Now, Google were pretty good with this transition, to be honest, they were able to move all of the Google domains platform over to Squarespace's platform and keep payment information and keep all the domain information there. So that was a pretty seamless process. But if you didn't realize that had happened to your account, somewhere in your emails over the past probably year to 18 months, there'll be an email or a series of emails from Google letting you know that a Squarespace account has been created for you using your same email address and that your domains have been migrated over to Squarespace. Now, of course, Squarespace aren't as large as Google and can't run at pretty much cost price for domains. So they're going to start charging you for registering domains. If you were someone who was very, very, very early to this game, then you may have actually started at a time where Google gave you a promotional offer for a free domain name. Now, I don't know of any of those myself personally, because it wasn't available in Australia for a long time. Google domains came to us like three years later than everyone else. So I never really got access to those kind of promos, but typically everyone's gonna pay for their domain name. So if you're stuck, worried about paying for the domain name, tough cookies, <laughs> six bucks is pretty good deal, but $6 per month doesn't sound like you're paying for a domain name. $6 per month actually sounds like maybe you're paying for your user account on Google Workspace. Now, $6 is a little cheap because I think the minimum plan is $8 a month now. So I don't know what that $6 fee is. Maybe you signed up to GoDaddy or something and you're paying extra for like a web builder. Maybe you signed up for something on Squarespace and that's charging you a little bit extra there. I can't say for sure, but check if you've got an account with Squarespace. If you originally signed up with Google Domains, now you will have a Squarespace account. Check if maybe you added some add-on services somewhere along the way and that's what you're being charged for. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.